3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor to our solar system, a surprise visitor from the stars. In the summer of 2025, astronomers spotted something moving against the starry background that did not belong, a faint, fast speck, quicker than anything normally bound to the sun. Within days, the verdict was in. We were seeing an object from another star system, only the third ever found. They named it 3i Atlas, three for the third of its kind, I for interstellar, and Atlas for the sky survey that first sounded the alarm. For only the third time in history, an outsider born around a distant sun had crossed into our neighborhood. Telescopes across Earth, and in space, swung into position. Scientists canceled plans, lost sleep, and pointed every instrument they could at this brief messenger from far away. Why the rush? Because interstellar visitors do not linger. They come in fast, reveal themselves for a moment, and vanish back into the dark. 3i Atlas immediately made headlines, bigger than expected, faster than its predecessors, and perhaps unimaginably older. For researchers, it is a rare time capsule, raw material from another planetary nursery, preserved in deep cold for eons, now warming in our sunlight. In this story, we'll follow 3i Atlas from its discovery to what we know today, its path, its chemistry, its likely birthplace and why it could change how we think about planets, comets, and the Milky Way itself. How 3i Atlas announced itself. Just after midnight on July 1st, 2025, the Atlas telescope in Chile caught a dim point drifting through the constellation Sagittarius. Atlas, the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system, usually hunts for objects that might someday threaten Earth. This one was different. Follow-up observations piled in from observatories around the world, the orbit calculations came back with a stunning result. 3i Atlas was on a hyperbolic path, not circling the sun, not coming back. An interstellar flyby. Astronomers even found the object hiding in images taken days earlier. Those pre-discovery shots tightened the orbit solution and confirmed the trajectory. The object received multiple catalog designations, but the name that matters here is the one that marks its nature. 3i Atlas the third interstellar object ever confirmed. From that moment, the race began. No one had forgotten Oumuamua in 2017, discovered as it was already leaving, or Borisov in 2019, caught in time but without today's full arsenal of instruments. With 3i Atlas, the community moved fast. Within a day, the schedule boards at major observatories were full of urgent requests. The goal was simple, measure everything we can, as early as we can, for as long as we can. A wild, one-way trajectory. What makes 3i Atlas interstellar is not a hunch, it's the math. Its orbital eccentricity isn't just a little over the escape threshold, it is far beyond it. Imagine a track that never closes into an ellipse but opens into space like a sling. That's the path 3i Atlas rides. Trace that path backward and the incoming direction points towards Sagittarius, the crowded star fields in the general direction of the Milky Way's center. The angle of attack is steep, plunging in from well above the flat plane where most planets and asteroids reside. This is not traffic from our solar system's orderly highways. This is a bullet from somewhere else. At discovery, 3i Atlas was roughly the distance of Jupiter from the Sun and already barreling inward at about 60 kilometers per second, over 1 130,000 miles per hour. Closer in, gravity adds even more speed. Near its swing by the Sun in late October 2025, it reaches roughly 68 kilometers per second, among the fastest solar system flybys on record. Is it dangerous? Number. Not even close. It stays far beyond Earth's orbit, misses Mars by a wide margin, and then sails back into deep space. By early 2026, it fades beyond the reach of all but the largest telescopes. For the public, it won't be a naked eye spectacle. For science, though, it's a gold mine, not a bare rock, a living comet. Very quickly, observers noticed something crucial. 3i Atlas is not inert. It's active. Images show a soft, diffuse glow, a coma, and the first hints of a tail. That glow is sunlight warming ices, turning them directly into gas and dragging dust with them. In other words, 3i Atlas behaves like a comet. That single fact helps more than you might think. Umamua never showed a visible coma, which left everyone arguing about what it was made of and why it accelerated slightly in a puzzling way. Borisov, on the other hand, looked and acted like a classic comet and taught us that at least some interstellar travelers are familiar in their behavior. 3i Atlas joins that second camp. 
It is an ice-rich comet that woke up as it neared the sun. Then came sharper eyes. The Hubble Space Telescope locked on and revealed a small, bright core wrapped in a teardrop of dust, with background stars streaked into lines because Hubble tracked the comet during the exposure. From that glow and its brightness, researchers estimated the nucleus is no bigger than a few kilometers across, and possibly much smaller. Large enough to survive sunlight at its distance, small enough to be common by comet standards. Jets of dust and a developing tail told the same story. Ordinary comet physics at work, sublimating ices, sunlight, and dust carried away on the breeze of escaping gas. Ordinary physics. Extraordinary context. Because the chemistry of those gases tells us where three I atlas may have formed, and when, what the gases whisper. When comet ices vaporize, the escaping molecules light up in infrared wavelengths, each with a unique fingerprint. The James Webb Space Telescope is built to read those fingerprints with exquisite sensitivity. In early August 2025, Webb took spectra of 3i Atlas. The results were both expected and surprising. Expected. The usual suspects are present. Water vapor, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and a trace of sulfur-bearing molecules. The standard palette of a cold-born comet. Surprising. The ratio. 3. I Atlas releases far more carbon dioxide relative to water than comets normally do in our solar system. One of the highest ratios ever measured. Why would a comet be this carbon dioxide rich? One possibility is birthplace. In a protoplanetary disk, ices freeze out at different distances from the star depending on temperature. Water condenses closer in. Carbon dioxide freezes farther out. If 3 I Atlas formed near the CO, two ice line in its home system, it could have locked away a large reservoir of CO2 from the start. Another possibility is structure. If dust and sintered grains have sealed water ice beneath an insulating crust, early sunlight might drive off surface CO2 and carbon monoxide long before deeper water warms enough to escape. Or cosmic rays, working over billions of years in interstellar space, may have altered the outer layers, changing how easily different ices are released. Whatever the cause, the chemistry sets 3i Atlas apart. It isn't just a comet from elsewhere, it is a clue to the diversity of comet nurseries across the galaxy. Colder, older, perhaps poorer in heavy elements than the environment that birthed many of our own long-period comets. A family portrait of interstellar visitors. To understand why 3i Atlas matters, place it beside the first two interstellar objects. Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, was tiny by comparison and showed no visible activity. We inferred its shape and odd acceleration from changing brightness and precise tracking, and we argued about exotic ices or unusual geometry for years. It was a riddle wrapped in a light curve. Borisov, found in 2019, was the opposite, undeniably comet-like, with a classic coma and tail. Spectra looked familiar, though its carbon monoxide seemed high compared with many local comets, hinting at a very cold birthplace. Now 3i Atlas arrives larger and brighter than Oumuamua, more active than Oumuamua, and apparently richer in carbon dioxide than the typical comet. Three visitors, three personalities. With every new one, our picture of what roams between the stars becomes sharper, and broader, at the same time. And if you are wondering, no, 3i Atlas shows no signs of artificial origin. The coma, the tail, the chemistry, the dust, all point to natural processes. The real story is already incredible enough. A fossil fragment from another planetary system thawing in our light. How old is old? Possibly older than the sun. Speed and direction are not random. They carry the imprint of where an object has been. When astronomers trace the incoming path of 3i Atlas against models of the Milky Way, something striking appears. The trajectory is steeply tilted relative to the galactic plane. The speed is high even before the sun's gravity adds to it. That kinematic fingerprint matches objects associated with the galaxy's thick disk, a population of older stars that sit in a puffier, vertically extended layer compared with the thin spiral disk where our sun lives. If 3i Atlas truly originated from a thick disk system, it could be ancient, not millions of years old, but billions. Some analyses suggest it has been roaming the galaxy for longer than our sun has existed, perhaps 7 to 11 billion years. Think about that. A comet that formed around a star when the Milky Way was young, 
ejected by some gravitational nudge, and left to wander in darkness ever since, until now. That idea changes the stakes. This is not just a sample of another star system. It may be a sample from another era of the galaxy. Different stellar chemistry, different dust, different conditions for forming planets and oceans and atmospheres. If we can read its ices correctly, we can read a chapter of galactic history we've never had access to before. Will 3, I Atlas, survive its visit? Comets sometimes fall apart when sunlight warms them. Borisov shed fragments after it passed the sun. Oumuamua, being tiny and odd, left us guessing. For 3 I Atlas, the signs so far are encouraging. Its path keeps it well away from the most punishing heat. The nucleus appears large enough to hold together. The coma's shape and the dust jets look like normal activity, not catastrophic breakup. That could change. Comets are unpredictable. But the odds favor a survivor that fades quietly as it recedes. If it did fragment, scientists would seize the chance to study fresh interior material. But we would also lose the opportunity to watch a single intact interstellar nucleus evolve with time. Either way, nature teaches, can we chase it? Not this time. Every time an interstellar object appears, the same thrilling question comes up. Could we send a spacecraft to meet it? Imagine flying through the coma of 3 I Atlas and tasting gases that condensed around a long dead star. Imagine sampling dust grains that predate the sun. The science would be priceless. The challenge is speed and notice. Interstellar visitors are fast, and we usually discover them late. To intercept one, we would need a spacecraft waiting in space, fueled, healthy, and able to sprint on command, or launch systems that can go from zero to go in weeks, not years. That's why upcoming missions matter. Even so, catching something as fast as 3i Atlas would be hard. Concepts for faster chasers exist. Solar sails, close sun slingshots, advanced propulsion. But they are future tools. For 3i Atlas, telescopes will have to do. And they are doing plenty. Hubble for sharp images, Webb for chemistry, Swift and Tess and SphereX adding context, and the biggest ground-based telescopes gathering spectra and light curves. It is the most coordinated campaign ever mounted for an interstellar visitor. A new era of discoveries is beginning. Here's the exciting part. We may not have to wait long for the next one. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile is coming online with a gigantic camera and a mission to scan the entire visible sky regularly. Its surveys will be exquisitely sensitive to moving points of light. Many astronomers expect Rubin to find interstellar interlopers far more often, perhaps every year. With each new detection, we can compare sizes, speeds, and compositions, and begin to answer big questions. How common are interstellar comets compared with interstellar asteroids? Do most of them carry abundant carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, like Borisov and 3i Atlas seem to suggest? Or was that a coincidence? What fraction are rich in water and organics? The raw ingredients for life's chemistry. Do different parts of the galaxy make different kinds of small bodies? And is there a quiet traffic of such objects between star systems all the time, seeding and mixing materials across light years? That last idea is especially captivating. We already know our comets carry complex organic molecules. If interstellar comets carry them too, then the building blocks of life may be common cargo on nature's slow courier service. No, 3i Atlas is not an alien craft, but it might carry clues about how often the chemistry of life can get started, and under what conditions. From island to ocean, for most of human history, our solar system felt like an island. The planets and their moons, the asteroids and comets we knew, the rare passing star in the deep past tugging on the Oort cloud. And now, in just a few years, three small visitors have crossed our path from beyond the sun's family. The galaxy is not empty space between isolated bubbles. It's a connected ocean. And sometimes, a piece of a far shore washes up at our door. Picture 3 I Atlas, as it likely began, grains of dust and ice condensing in the cold outer reaches of a young disk around a star that has long since aged. Slowly, clumps grow. A nucleus takes shape. A chance encounter with a giant planet or a passing star flings it away at escape speed. For billions of years, it travels alone, looping the galaxy. No sunlight, no warmth, just time. Then, by cosmic accident, it drifts into the sun's sphere of influence and brightens for a brief season. Our season. We wake to its presence, point our instruments, write our papers, and learn what we can. And then it fades, taking its secrets onward, leaving us a little wiser. 
and a lot more curious. 3 Eye Atlas will not be with us for long. By early 2026, it will be too faint for most telescopes and headed back to the deep. But its legacy will endure. It showed us that interstellar visitors can be bright enough, big enough, and active enough to study in detail. It hinted that some are richer in carbon dioxide than we expected. It may be a relic from a time before the sun was born, carrying a memory of ancient galactic chemistry. And it reminded us that the universe still loves a good surprise. The next time an alert pings and the orbit fits a hyperbola, we'll be more ready. Bigger surveys to find it earlier, better coordination to watch it longer, maybe even a spacecraft waiting for the chase. Until then, we salute this traveler for what it has taught us. Safe travels, 3i Atlas. Thanks for the science. And hurry back, universe. We're listening.